G'day, it's Cam. Another video for HowToDigitalPaint.com. Now in episode 12, we're looking at transform tools. So we're looking at free transform tool, the additional options, warp option, and some examples of uses. And the hotkey tip is Control T. That will open up the free transform. So I've got this little image that I've done in Alchemy, which is a free program. I'll be doing a episode on some free painting tool soon. Um, but yeah, I've just used the lasso tool. Select the area, press Control T, or you can right click and click to tra free transform with your sub menu, or you can go to edit, free transform. But I recommend you just use the hotkey, Control T. So you see we have a sub menu with scale, rotate, those are self explanatory. Then we have the skew tool, so we can just manipulate the different handles and it's uh, asymmetrically moving the different parts. We have distort, which is going to distort um, based on just moving each little handle. And perspective, so that'll have a perspective effect, which can be very useful when laying in textures and so forth. Then we have the warp option. You can access the warp option by the sub menu or by clicking uh, the little icon up the top there that becomes available when you're in free transform mode. And you can see we have different ways to manipulate by either the handles or the other parts. And there's a little sub menu up the left there which I'm clicking. And those have some preset warp options and you can change the horizontal band and vertical and so forth. Uh, just press enter to finalize your distortion and control D to deselect. Or you can free transform the whole layer just by not selecting um, any area but just the layer. And when when moving parts around duplicate the layer and that way when you when you move things you're going to have um, some part underneath to make it a bit easier doing the paint over and you can see how we can manipulate this you know simple silhouette image and modify different parts you know extend the torso uh, make the head bigger and just fixing up the little proportion proportional issues so it's very good for concept design and will really speed up the production process and you know you can make multiple silhouettes and really play around with that so I've got a new new image open I've got a texture here from mayang.com slash textures it's just the corrugated iron texture I'm just going to show you how we can use the free transform tool to place in textures into a into a painting. So you can see already um, I've got this kind of shanty village and I'm just going to lay in this this texture using the distort option in free transform and just lining it up with the perspective that I have in the image. So it really helps if you have the guidelines already in your image. And it's just a matter of placing it in. I've made a mask and now masking out areas and just bringing back in the areas that I want. Switch to overlay layer and masking out more areas. So overlays are overlay and soft light or multiply are really recommended. Um, layer modes for placing textures but just experiment and find what works for your particular image just lowering the saturation to tie it in a bit better and you can see it's added a bit of realism now I already had a bit of a corrugated iron effect just that I did with custom brushes but um, I feel that this texture overlay has added quite a lot to the image in terms of realism so you can play around with those different sub-menu options. Uh, here I've got a little sketch in about 15 minutes just of a little uh, dude. 
happy guy. And we're going to use him to demonstrate how we can add logos to things such as shirts or clothing, um, whatever it may be. So I've got a little registered logo. Now we um, free transform using the warp option now. And just lining up those um, lines to correspond with the form of his shirt, of his chest. So we're just manipulating those different handles, getting it to move around the form. And then just to tie it in, just switching to multiply layer mode and then you're done. So try it yourself. Thanks for watching.